The Spiders is by Argon Barger. I probably completely mispronounced your name, and I apologize. <clears throat> it was a beautiful spring datty in Equestria's when Twilight Sparkle was in her study where she lived. Spike, she said, come here, Spike, and Spike came over to her. What do you want, Twilight? Spike said, and Twilight said, Spike, I need you to get me the Book of Magic. Okay, Spike said, I will get it for you. And he went over to the bookshelf to get the book for Twilight Sparkle. It was a dusty book, and Spike almost sneezed, but he didn't. He gave the book to Twilight, and she said, Thank you, Spike. Go away now. And Spike said, Okay, I will go away. And he slided away like a dragon. Twill Light opened the book to chapter 5 and said, Okay, magic, please happen. And the magic began happening in her horn, and she did the spell. It was a magic spell, and she knew that it was magic, which is why she casted it, because her cutie mark is magic, because she is a unicorn. The spell made everything bigger and ate. Why is everything bigger and ate, Twilight said. Oh, it is because I am a spider now. Spider Twilight went up to the bookshelves to find a fixed spell, to fix the spell, but she couldn't open the books or even grab them because she was a spider and not a unicorn, and her horn was gone. And also, she did not have a voice that could speak loud enough for Spike to hear her and go get book for her, and even if she did, she probably wouldn't want to because Speak would see her as a spider and maybe get scared or angry, and then stomp all over her, which would make her dead spider twilight. But that is bad. And then she heard voice. Well, not really a voice, but it sounded like another spider. She occult understand the spider clicks, and she knew that it was a spider, and she had to go and talk to this other spider, because that is what other spiders do, talk to other spiders. A red spider appeared and said, Hello, Twilight. I am a Big Mac spider now. Why? And Twilight spider said, Uh, Big Mac spider, is it? Because I casted a spell that was sent wrong. And the big red Mac spider said, Okay, well maybe, but you can fix it. And Twilight said, Oh, okay, said the red spider. Well, if we are going to be spiders forever... Let's have spider sex. And Twilight Spider said, Okay, well, but I don't know how to have spider sex. And Big Spider Mac Red said, It is probably easy. Okay, are you okay with this? I am asking permission to have spider sex with you. Twilight said, I don't know. Spiders are creepy and weird. And then Big Mac said, Twilight, we are spiders. And then Till Light said, you have a point. Okay, I guess. We have to make the most of it, right? And then Big Max said, That is the spirit. Yes, okay, spider sex. They started to have spider sex, and it felt really weird for Twilight. But Twilight never had even normal, regular pony sex. So spider sex was the weirdest, most strange thing ever. It was like a crunchy potato chip, full of chips, got thrown into a chain-link fence, and I don't know where this metaphor goes in anymore. After the spider's sex, Twilight felt funny on the inside, like something real, not normal. Big Mac Spider said, Is it okay, Twilight Spider, if I live here with you so we can have more spider sex? And Twilight I said, I don't know, I guess, but I don't want to have spider sex for a while. That was weird. And Big Mac Spider Red said, This is okay. I will wait for you to be ready because I am a gentle spider. And Twilight said, Okay, I appreciate it. Chapter 2 Spiders. There was a living like that for a while time, where they lived together and had some spider sex sometimes, but only when Twilight felt extra sorry for Big Mac. Spike D -k was downstairs and crying lots because he didn't know where Twilight went to, and Twilight wanted to go make Spike feel less ad. 
but she was a spider and couldn't talk? Twilight's belly got bigger and bigger, and she didn't know what was happening. And then Spider Mac Red Big said, Uh, I think you might be getting ready to have spider babies. And Twilight said, What? And Big Mac said, Yep. Except for he couldn't actually make that word sound because he was a spider and doesn't have pony voice boxes anymore. Twilight was real sad and upset because spider babies were gross and creepy and weird. And she cried a little bit. But Big Mac Red Spider gave her the biggest, most happy hug ever and said, I always wanted to be a daddy. And even though I didn't want to be a spider daddy, I will try to be the best spider daddy ever and be here for you all the times. And okay? And Twilight felt the most happy, but still was not happy at the same time. Then one day, Twilight had to lay spider egg eggs, and it was the most strangest. It felt like a bubble wrap bubbles being pooped out, and then she was sad and upset again. But Big Mac Spider was to her the whole time and made her comfort. He borrowed her spider food, which was bugs, and Twilight was finally okay with eating bugs. With Big Spider Big Mac's help, she niku. She had to eat them to be alive, and being alive was more good than eating bugs was bad. So she did it, and was sad and upset because the bugs were gross. But it was okay, because she was alive. The Big Mac Spider helped her guard the eggs for many, 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 many days, until one day the eggs were very big and had dark thins moving around inside of them, and Twilight knew they were her babies, and she was kind of happy for a little bit. But Big Mac was happy, because she was happy, and then she was even happier, because Big Mac was happy, Be but they didn't have spider sex, because Big Mac knew how much Twilight didn't like that, because it felt weird, and she also didn't want to have more babvies, and neither did he really, but... He was ready to be the best spider daddy, so Twilight didn't have to worry. After a few more days, the eggs started moving, and they knew that the eggs were going to hatch because Twilight was smart, and she knew all about eggs. They watched the egg pile of eggs move around, and then they heard little baby spider clicks, and they knew it was the baby spiders, and they watched even more much. The eggs all hatched simultaneously, and vast multitudes of tiny spiderlings swarmed out in a screeching horde. Twilight and Big Mac started to scuttle away as quickly as they could, but they soon found that they were in no real danger. The spiderlings had no intention of killing their parents. They witnessed a solid black mass of itchy, screaming death cover every surface of the library. Millions of spiders continued to swarm out of the eggs. The flood seemed to be endless. Spike lay curled up in his little dragon bed, moping. Things hadn't been the same since Twilight's disappearance, and it had been over a week since he had any decent ideas about what to do about it. He was depressed and miserable. Suddenly, he heard a scratching, high-pitched noise coming from upstairs. His curiosity overcame his melancholy, and he plodded up to investigate. He was intercepted by a solid wall of spiderlings pouring down the stairwell, which overwhelmed him almost instantly. Spike had just enough presence of mind to scream, but doing so did nothing but allow the swarm of spiders access to his lungs and stomach. The spiderlings drained his fluids for sustenance, and Spike died in horrible terror and agony. Chapter 3. Spider Day Alf of the spiders runned away from Twilight, and Red spimmed her mac, and they didn't know what to do because they were so many spiders of the eggs. Big Mac said, Hey, you spider babies, you are my spider babies. Now listen to me. And because, but the spider babades didn't listen because they were making too much noise. But they would have listened if they could because Big Mac Spider was their daddy and they loved him 
and their mommy Twilight more than any of the bugs, even the juicy ones. Big Mac Spider said to Twilight Spider, I am so sorry, I. I am the worst spider daddy, even though I promised I was going to be the best one even. Twilight felt really bad and sorry for Big Mac Spider because she knew that he tried his best, and but if there wasn't a biggest problem happening, she would give him the hugs. Twilight thought hardest with having ideas, and then one idea. Spider, Big, come here and help me, okay? And Spider Mac said, All right, what do you want me to do, Twilight? And Twilight said, I need Yo to throw me into the spiders. And Red Mac said, Are you sure? You thought spiders were creepy and weird. And Twilight said, I know, but I need to do this. Okay, because Big Mac, we are spiders. And Big Mac said, okay. Big Mac picked her up by her legs with his legs and threw her at the spider babies. She screamed a little bit, but not really, because she was trying to be brave like Rainbow Dash would be brave if she was a spider and flying at spider babies. Then, finally, after falling for time, she landed in the spider's babies, and they didn't know she was their mom because they were still just babies and crawling, and Twilight Spider tried to click at them to stop, but they didn't know what to do because babies are confused. Big Mac watched all the spiders carry Twilight away, and he felt the most terrible and sad, and said, It is my fault that Twilight is being carried away by the spider babies, because I was the one who had spider sex with her, and she made babies because I have to rescue her, he said. Chapter 4. When Spiders Are I don't like this, Twilight Spider thought. I wish Big Mac were here. He knows what to do every time. But Big Mac was chasing her and the spider pabbies, and she didn't know it. It was very exciting. All the spiders ran through Equestria, and all the ponies were scared and ran into house, but except for one pony who stood in the street and angry. Stop, spiders, she said, and they stopped. And Big Brown Spider jumped off her head, her head was gray, and her coat was gray, too, and her hair was straight. And the spider was brown and big and made angry click. Twilight heard the clicks clicking, and she knew that spider had name, Miriam Webster. And Miriam Webster Spider told all the baby spiders to stop being bad. Tay couldn't do what they did, because what they did was something bad to do. And they had to stop and listen to their mommy spider, like spiders do every. Twilight mom spider thought really hard, and all the baby spiders watched her. And then Big Mac got over to where she was and said, Twilight, I'm so glad you're okay. And Twilight said, Shh, I'm thinking. And Big Spider Mac said, Oh, okay, sorry. Twilight said, I love you, baby spiders, but you did bad thing and made my friend Spike dead. Why you do that? And please, so go make Spike better and then go to Everfee Forest where you belong as spiders. It will be, okay? And the spiders said, okay, mommy, and they went to back to where Sipk was and they barfed all his juice back and he was better. Spike said, thank you, spiders. You are my best friends. And the spiders made a happy face, and then they hugged. But this time, they didn't drain all of Spike's vital fluids. Then the spiders all listened to Mommy Twilight and went to the effort-free forest, where spiders live happy and free, and it was good. Twilight and Big Mac Spider Red talked to Miram, and the gray pony listened. The gray pony was Pinkie Pie's sister from Cutie Mark Chronicles, and she worked on the rock farm, in case you were wondering. And Twilight clicked, thank you, to Miriam Webster, and Miriam Webster clicked, it's okay. Listen, Twilight Spider, I am a wizard, and I know Yo and the Big Mac Spider are not spiders at all, but ponies who are spiders by accident. Do you want to be ponies again? 
Chapter 5, The End, Spider, End. Twilland and Bagmax said, Yes, we want to be ponies again. And Miram Sadi, Okay, here, I will do my spider magic. And the spider magic happened. Twilight and Big Mac were ponies again. And they gave each other a big pony hug because they were friends from being spiders together. And it was good. Miram clicked and they cuddled to understand it anymore because they were ponies and not spiders. But the gray pony, Pinkie Pie's sister, could understand and she translated the spider speak to pony speech so they could talk some more. Miram said, I hoped you learned something from being a spider. And Twilight said, yes, I did. I will always remember. And I am aslo happy because I made a Big Mac friend. And Big Mac said, yep. And then Big Mac said, listen, Twilight, about being spiders. And Twilight said, it's okay, Big Mac. I understand. And we can still be very good friends forever, okay? And Big Mac said, okay. Thank you, Miriam, I said. And Miriam said, did you learn anything? And I thought about it really extra hard. And I said, yes, I did learn something. But I will tell Celestia about that, okay? And Miriam said, that is fair. And then I saw my bestest friend in the world, Argenbarger, who was the most handsome ally corn in Equestria. And Argenbarger said, Hello, Twilight. It has been a long time. And I feel myself blushing because of how charming Argenbarger Alicorn was. And I said, Yes, it was had been a long time. Do you think we can spend some time alone together? And he said, I don't think so, Twilight. I have lots of important things to do because I am an alicorn. But maybe someday, okay? And I was very sad because he was the nicest alicorn ever. But I said, I understand. And he flew away. And it was amazing. I was so impressed and amazed and happy that I got to see him. Then I went back to the library and found Spike and gave him the biggest, most happy hug ever because he was happy to see me, because I was gone for so long, because I was Spider. And I said, Spike, please take a letter. And he said, okay, I will take a letter, Spike. And then Spike took a letter. Dear Princess Celestia, today I learned that spiders are creepy, but being a spider is better than being dead. Your faithful student, Twilight Spackle. The end of the story. You can stop reading now. Thank you for reading my story.